Sprout Social Demo, Sprout Social Review. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get started with Sprout Social and what are my overall thoughts about the platform. So let's get into it. Now, Sprout Social is a management platform where you can manage your social media entities or your social media accounts for businesses and for larger influencers as well. And Sprout Social basically allows you to manage all of your social medias in one place, how to schedule posts, how to make drafts, schedule ahead you know have a overall very professional looking social media account how to you know just make sure to schedule and have content calendars have a uh, location monitoring a crm tools and promotions and different kinds of group and post level reporting to see how well your social media accounts are doing so getting started with strat social we're just going to click on start your free trial over here on their pricing page and what you're just going to do is we're just going to fill out our name like so and I'm going to enter my email address and I'm going to create a password for my Sprout social account and once I do that I'm just going to click on sign up over here and this will create my free trial account so once you do that you have to connect your Twitter profile or your Facebook page so you can also connect your Instagram LinkedIn or Pinterest but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect my Facebook page and I'm just going to wait for this to load up and I'm going to connect weight loss tips from a pro so this is one of my facebook pages that i have and i'm just going to click on connect uh, you can connect up to five social media platforms or pages onto your singular sprout social account but i'm just connecting one just to show you guys how to get started now i'm just going to click on connect over here and now i'm just going to skip the rest of these and now i am going to add my organization name I am going to add Jane, I'm going to add myself only, and I am not a social media agency, and now I'm just going to click on next over here. Once I do that, they're going to ask me what kind of interest do I have, so if I'm working there, if I'm overseeing a team, or if I'll be doing both. And I will be working here, and I'm here to provide a better service, drive brand awareness, or understand brand sentiment, schedule social media work in advance and quickly analyze my social media work and I'm just going to click on finish over here and once you do that you're going to be led to your Sprout Social dashboard. So this is what your dashboard on Sprout Social is going to look like. On your left you have your different panels and then on your right you have different creation tools as well. So on your left you have your dashboard, your inbox, tasks, publishing, listening, reports and then on your right you have your compose section where you can start creating your social media posts. Then you have your notifications, you have your team conversation, you have shared links, Links. you have connect a profile you have invite team members your twitter search help center shortcuts and your support and resources to get started with sprout social the first thing we need to understand is your dashboard so heading on back to our dashboard what you basically see on your dashboard is your latest activity your today's publishing so any posts that you have published today and if you scroll down you're going to be able to see you're going to be able to explore more features and then you can integrate more panels onto your basic dashboard now once you have an account linked onto sprout social how do you actually go on about to managing it so the first thing that i love to do on sprout social is to plan ahead with my social media posts so what i like to do is i like to click on this compose button at the top right and I like to select my page. So this is I've only linked one social media account to this. So it's automatically selecting that Facebook page. But if you have multiple accounts selected, then you're going to have to select which one you're wanting to post on. And then I like to schedule ahead with my post. So I could write summer cleanse diet coming soon. And I could add this post and I could add specific days and times. And what I like to do is like, let's say I want to start this on the first of march i want to schedule this and i want this to be posted on 9 30 a.m or maybe like 10 30 a.m and i like to click on schedule and now this will automatically be posted and then i can click on compose once more and then i could schedule my next post which would actually be the diet plan and i could schedule that for like a week later or something like that and within your compose post you can add emojis you can add media you can add locations and you can even connect a ad account so if you have a adsense account or if you have a uh, Facebook, if you're doing like promoted pages or promoted uh, ads, or if you're running ads on Facebook, you can link your account over here as well and then start using Facebook promotions or Facebook ads as well. Now, after that, once you start posting, you can click on over here to your My Tasks section. So this is another thing that I really like about Spread Social is their tasks. So in their tasks, you have your open tasks, you have closed tasks, and you have all tasks. So within your open tasks, you can see if you have like a larger team, 
I find that the task section is pretty helpful because if you are using tasks individually, obviously you already know what you have to do. But if you're running a social media account, let's say for a brand, and you're working in the sales department and someone else is working in the marketing department, then you need to, you know, allocate tasks between different people. Or maybe if you're a manager and you have someone working for you doing uh, marketing and someone is working for doing lead generation, then you're going to be able to create tasks in the task section and easily allocate them to certain people people then in that way all of your work will be streamlined and everyone will know what they are supposed to do so you can even see you have your previous 24 hours you can uh, filter out how much you want to monitor so maybe you only want to see the work from the previous seven days and then you also have your filters like um the message type, the sources, the languages as well. Now, after that, another great thing that you can do with Sprout Social is monitor your publishing and get analytics. So if you go into your publishing section, you're going to be able to see what is queued for when. So you have this calendar and you can see how many posts you have for a certain day. And then you have your Sprout queue as well. So you can queue up posts and they will be automatically reposted one after the other. And you can queue up multiple posts and have a selected same time so you can just instead of you know customizing and adding times every time you post something uh you could just simply add like a long queue of content and it will be automatically posted on mondays tuesdays wednesdays just like that on automatic times that you have set now after you set like a queue on this you can go into your report section over here on your left and then get reports on what kind of post timings do you the best so you have cross network you have profiles by network and you have competitors by network and you can see your uh, overall profile performance your post performance your competitor posts so this will give you a better insight into your own business uh, and into how you should rebrand or retarget to your audience so in general i really do find sprout social to be very helpful in running a social media account especially for businesses so as much as i love sprout social there is a drawback to using it is that it is not available for free so you have a 30-day trial but after that you're gonna have to pay and it is a nine dollar per user per month and uh, that is on the standard version where you can connect up to five social media profiles and then they also have the professional version starting at $149 per user per month and then they have the advanced version which starts at $249 per user per month and you can connect up to 10 social media profiles on the professional and advanced version and they also have some more uh, features such as on the professional version you get scheduling for optimal send times you also have paid social reporting for Facebook Twitter, Instagram, and you also have a trend analysis for Twitter keywords, you have response rate and time analysis reports, and then on the advanced version, you have features like chat boxes with automation tools, and you also have digital assets and content library. So I think all three of these plans are very much well worth the money, but if you're just an influencer, then I wouldn't recommend Sprout Social because you might not be able to make the money back off of your social media profile, but if you're a business, I definitely do recommend using Sprout Social to fulfill your social media management needs so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to choose the best plan for you on sprout social make sure to leave a like if you like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel for more content like this and i will catch you guys in the next video